Chandelier National Monument protects over 33,000 acres of rugged but beautiful canyon and mesa country, as well as evidence of human presence here going back 1,100 years. Petroglyphs, dwellings carved into the soft rock cliffs, and standing masonry walls pay tribute to the early days of a culture that still survives in the surrounding communities. And joining us now is a preservationist, Myron J. Gonzalez, along with Daniel Bird, the crew leader at the Bandolier Preservation Crew. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks morning. for Thank making the trek down, guys. I know it meant an early morning drive for you. <laughs> okay. um, so let's talk a little bit about, uh, first of all, this, this program. We'll talk about Bandolier and, and the HOPE program. What you guys are doing up there, how it fits in with the preservation of Bandolier. Yeah, we are the hands-on preservation experience crew, and um, from what I understand, we're a pilot crew for for this summer, and um, it's a it's a crew that's composed of tribal members, youth. Okay, that's who we are. Yeah. So, what does hope mean? I, it, it, it stands for something, yeah. correct? Yeah, hands-on. Okay. What does it mean? Hands-on preservation experience. Okay, that's and so you're getting a lot of the younger uh, uh, tribal kids to come in and, and help, and they're learning how to how to preserve yes okay that's really exciting now who who makes up your crew is it a, is it a, how many people we have an eight crew um eight crew members and um we're all tribal youth okay. from uh, local communities lo local pueblos yeah that's and um, it's myself daniel bird from santo domingo pueblo and then my assistant crew supervisor his name is john moya from um okay Winge. and then the rest are tribal members from kinsley mokino from santo domingo as well um, Robert Bird from Coach D Pueblo, and then it goes on north to uh, John Moya. I mean, we already covered John Moya, but then we have um, Derek Gonzalez from Madanales mm -hmm. and uh, New Mexico, and then we have Vidal, uh, Vidal Gonzalez from San Santa Clara Pueblo. And wow, then, so you really got a lot yeah. of use from all over. Yeah. yeah. So so let's talk a little bit about the day-to-day the -day work that you guys are doing with, with the HOPE crew. What goes into it, Myron? How, how are they helping with Bandelier National Monuments Preservation? Well, part of Bandelier's um, work plan over the summer involves preserving many of the ancestral sites that you find in the park. So the crew helps us implement stabilization programs, uh, rerouting of trails, re um, delineating of the trails. You know, some of them have been damaged from the Cerro Grande fire, mm -hmm. the Los Conchas fire. So um, the problem with our trails is they've been um, impacted very much so in that some of the crews, a different component of the crew actually does trail um, repair mm -hmm. and the HOPE crew that, uh, that we have there at the park helps um, stabilize ancestral sites. You know, the, the visitor experience is that um, you want them to enjoy every bit of it and, and the most important part is the interpretation of a, of a place like Bandelier. Yeah. So if, you, if it's overgrown, if it's not well taken care of, it's hard to interpret heart for the visitor as mm -hmm. yourself to experience now, what you went for. Is this so. something that the public, that viewers can get involved with? It, can they can they help out in any way? Yes. Um, in <laughs> fact, um, the HOPE crew, as Daniel says, a pilot program is part of the Rocky Mountain Youth Corps. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, jobs are advertised through the Ro Rocky Mountain Youth Corps to those interested. Mm -hmm. um, the HOPE crew in general, the preservation crew, has, is an all-native all tribal youth um, crew mm -hmm. and we hope that Bandelier will continue that. Um, a lot of times the other tribes in the, uh, in the Pueblos at large in the state they prefer um, having tribal youth work on those sites yeah. since those are well, it's, it students. seems to me exactly it's it's yeah. it seems to me that it is part of your heritage and it really gives you that that opportunity to respect and, and, and have ownership firsthand. Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. That's what the crew members understand coming from the communities that they come from. They're, they're descendants of the people that actually lived up there. So mm -hmm. they understand the importance and they understand um, that when we're up there, we got to be respectful yeah. for, for what's there. And then they bring that when they work and then we all have fun and yeah. it's all incorporated. And, and each individual is um, unique in every way, where they come from, the community they represent. And I imagine, yeah, having having numerous tribes involved in this, everyone is bringing mm -hmm. a little bit of different ancestry to it. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about youths, how young do, does it start? How it, is there a minimum age if you yeah, want to participate? Yeah, the age starts from 16 and it goes 16. up to uh, 25. Oh, so okay. the youth, we have every we have a 16 year old, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24, okay. 23, yeah, so it's yeah. a good range. Some are still in high school, others will be attending college in Nepal, like okay. University of New Mexico, okay. Fort Lewis. And, um, and that's what the, the program um, provides, is they provide trainings on Fridays through the Rocky Mountain Youth Corps. We go up to Northern New Mexico College, and then 
they do resume builders, um, health and diet, nutrition, and all that. Oh, so, so you're helping them with a lot more. Yeah. yeah, it's more than just the work that we do out at Bandelier, but that's a good, um, that's the important component, yeah. but they also get um, educational trainings and, and things yeah. like that that they can take on into the future. So mm -hmm. hopefully they go on to maybe a trade like with the National Park Service yeah. or Bandelier or some natural resource job and then also go on to further education to, to get get it's, those jobs. It's right. about yeah. giving opportunity to travel use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you said that this is a pilot program. This, this flight wraps up August 7th. Mm -hmm. When is the next HOPE crew going to get started? And if people want to get involved, how do they find out more information? Uh, well, we'll have a fall crew that is going to be implemented, I believe, sometime in October. October. Okay. Um, okay. I'm sure if you went to the Rocky Mountain Youth page, mm -hmm. um, you could find that kind of information. Okay. Um, some of our crew members will actually um, become part of the fall crew. Oh, great. That's their intention okay. yeah, anyway. They're, they're interested, right. Yeah, they're I imagine very it's got to be something very yeah. passionate once you're in it. Well, guys, so. thanks again for making the trek yeah. down. And for more information on the Hope Crew and Bandelier National Monument, head over to casa.com.